Hello, my name is Georg and I'd like to provide you with a brief introduction to how patterns work and how they can be useful. Quick recap, what is a pattern? A pattern is a level of abstraction showing a proven solution to a problem with a context. Let's strip that down even further. A pattern is essentially a proven solution to a problem and that is why they are useful. Let's have a look at a real world pattern as an example. The pattern we're going to use here is on the inner source commons and it's called review committee. It addresses an, an inner source specific problem related to management buy-in for inner source. There is a certain level of management buy-in that needs to be attained in order to, to successfully start and sustain inner source. The problem this pattern addresses is that if there is insufficient management buy-in, it is likely that management will either try to micromanage the inner source activities or reject them entirely. The pattern review committee provides a proven solution which yields sufficient management buy-in to make inner source successful. So how do we get there and how does the pattern help? Well, let's have a look. Whether or not a pattern can help you depends on the concrete environment your company is in. Patterns are solutions which apply to specific contexts, but might not apply to others. And therefore, patterns explicitly spell out the context in which they do apply. In our concrete example pattern here, the context se section describes things like the prevalent management style of the organization and its familiarity with the open source working model. A context is something which you cannot change. If we look deeper, there are concrete reasons why one might be in the situation described in the problem section of the pattern. We call these reasons forces. The situation you are in is a result of balancing these forces. Luckily, forces can be changed and that is how we resolve the problem and get to our desired target state. Back to our example pattern. Inner source activities are by definition shared between multiple organizational units. And one of the forces that the pattern describes and that prevents management buy-in is that the less control over inner source activities a manager has, the less likely it is for him or her to commit resources to them. And this is force one. So what this pattern does is to eliminate this force by establishing a new force, a mechanism which allows managers to constructively influence inner source activities. This mechanism is called review committee and it is described in the resolution section of the pattern. By introducing the review committee, we have altered the balance of forces and have reached our desired target state. Applying the resolution creates a new resulting context, which again is described in a dedicated section of each pattern. And that's it basically. I, I hope this illustrated the general principle behind patterns and how they work. Let's recap and go over the components of each pattern again. A pattern describes a problem and the forces which lead to the problem in a specific context in which the pattern applies. A pattern also describes the resulting contexts which we'd like to achieve by applying the resolution to the problem. This is the core of a pattern. A pattern has a couple more important ingredients such as a meaningful title, which helps users to quickly identify the problem or solution a pattern provides. It also lists its authors and finally the known instances in which the pattern has been applied successfully. And these are all the components of a complete pattern. There is a variant of this which I'd like to mention and we call it a donut pattern. A donut pattern is, in essence, a well-described problem statement, which will eventually become a pattern once the resolution is known. And I'd like to encourage you to share your donut patterns with the community so that others who might have a resolution to the problem you have can share that and help you solve your problem. After all, knowledge is worth more when it's shared. And therefore, I'd like to invite you to join Inner Source Commons and specifically the Patterns community in the Inner Source Commons. A good starting point for getting in touch with us is the Inner Source webpage at paypal.github.io slash Inner Source Commons. We also host a Slack channel and do most of the Inner Source Patterns work in our open GitHub repositories. Thank you very much and may the inner source be with you.